Hey everyone, this is Bryce, Senior Engineer at Hero. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna do a complete beginner's guide to getting your environment set up for building Clarity Smart Contracts using Hero's tools. Um, this, this video is gonna be focused on the Mac. If you are a Windows user and you need something similar, check the link below for a very similar video, but for Windows users. Um, this is gonna be very specifically for beginners. So if you already have some comfort level with VS Code, with command line tools, then you can probably skip this video and check out some of our other tutorial videos. So with that, let's jump into it. I'll start off opening up our browser and visiting code.visualstudio.com. And I'm going to go ahead and start the download on this page once it opens up, and then I'll talk a little bit about it while it's downloading. So we're going to click this Download Mac Universal button. And we have a pop-up here. Do you want to allow downloads on code.visualstudio.com? Yes, I do. Allow. Okay, so here comes our download. So uh, Visual Studio Code is an application from Microsoft. Uh, it's an IDE, if you've heard that term before. It stands for Integrated Development Environment. And essentially what that is is just one place where you can do all of your development work. So you write your code here, and it provides things like syntax highlighting and auto-completion. Um, you often can do things like build your code, analyze your code, debug your code. Hopefully anything that you need to do, you can do inside of VS Code. And Hero provides an extension to VS Code <clears throat> specifically for Clarity Smart Contracts. All right, so download's complete. Let's go ahead and open up our downloads folder. And you'll see we have this Visual Studio Code. Let's copy that to our applications mm -hmm. folder and then click on applications and go ahead and open it up from there. Now we see this opening up. First thing we get is a warning. Visual Studio Code is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? So yes, I downloaded this directly from Microsoft website. I trust them. Let's open it. All right, so we come in here. This is, this is Visual Studio Code. Uh, let me just clear this. This is from, I was playing around earlier. Um, and let's get rid of that, okay. Um, the first thing we want to do is install a, the Clarity extension that I mentioned. So if we come, click on this, I clicked on this extensions icon over here on the left, and then in the search bar, I'm going to type Clarity, and I'm looking for the Hero logo here. So I click that, Clarity for Visual Studio Code by Hero Systems. That's the one we want. Let's hit install there. It's a quick install, and um, you can read through this later. Uh, we're going to skip over that for now. Um, but the, the key is that we have the extension installed now, but that extension does rely on Clarinet, which is the kind of the main tool for working with your smart contracts. So we need to install Clarinet as well. So let's go ahead and use the terminal to do that. It's the easiest way. So I'm going to click Terminal, New Terminal, and we see a, a nice terminal pops up down here. Now let's head back to our browser because the easiest way to install this is going to be using Brew. Uh, which is a tool for managing packages on the Mac. Again, I would encourage you to read into this some more, but for now I'm gonna skip over that and I'm just gonna copy and press this button here to copy this command and then we're gonna switch back to our terminal, paste it in and press enter. Uh, ask me for a password for this account because it's doing some administrative work. Type that in, uh, press enter on that prompt and then should install in a few minutes here. Um, basically this tool gives us a, a really nice interface using a, a few simple commands to install tools like Clarinet. Um, you may find there's a bunch of other tools that you end up using as you continue your development process that you can install very easily with Brew as well. Um, if we switch back to the website while we're waiting for that to install, you can take a look. Um, describes a little bit about what does Homebrew do. You can, at the top here, you can search Homebrew. So if I search for Clarinet here, I can see, okay, Clarinet, let's click on this one. Command line tool and runtime for the Clarity Smart Contract language. That sounds like the one we want. We can see uh, all the latest, the version numbers and, and whatnot. Supports all these different uh, platforms. Let's switch back here. Okay, we're at 100% receiving objects resolving deltas. So in the background, what this is doing, it's interacting with Git repositories, which you may or may not be familiar with, but it's pulling all kinds of information from these repositories to keep track of all the packages that are available to install. Hopefully this finishes up here in a minute. I need some hold music playing now. 
in the meantime, uh, there's some other packages that we might want to install. So there's a package called Rainbow Brackets that I like. Um, this one. So Clarity, as you may or may not have seen so far, has lots of parentheses. And to help keep track of those, um, there's a couple different uh, pack, uh, extensions that you can install to, to color code the parentheses, which makes it a lot nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one, Rainbow Brackets. OK, that's installed. And let's see, we may also want to install TypeScript. Uh, once you get deeper into your coding, uh, you're going to see that um, the tests, the unit tests for your smart contracts are written in TypeScript. So let's install this JavaScript and TypeScript nightly directly from Microsoft. And then one more while we're, oh, okay, we'll stop here because our thing is done. So now we've got that. So now we have this command brew. So I'm going to type brew install clarinet. Enter. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, glad I did that. Okay, so uh, up here probably somewhere it tells us this. So we need to add homebrew slash bin into the path. Uh, instructions can be found in the next steps in the section below. Uh, the easiest way to do that, I'm just going to, let's see what it says here. Okay, run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So let's just, let's just go ahead and copy that. Command C, Command V, copy that one, and then copy this one. Boom. Okay, now let's try that again. Brew install clarinet. And it's working this time. So now it's found the, uh, the clarinet, the manifest for clarinet. We see we're getting version 0.31.1, which is the latest. And finished installing. And now if I do clarinet dash dash help, I see, yes, we do indeed have the tool. So with that, we are now completely set up and ready to get started developing our Clarity Smart Contracts. So um, go ahead and jump to the next tutorial video to get started. Thanks for watching.